YouTube, how the fuck are you doing? Hey guys, Nate Chow today. I'm going to do a brand new video. What you guys have been watching is all about my favorite gun so far on Call of Duty Ghosts. We're a couple weeks into the game and I've been using the Vepr quite a bit. And you guys are going to see right here, it just has such good long range ability for an SMG. And it's just so much fun to use. And that's why I find this gun so addicting to keep in my creative class. I just want to pull it out every single game. Now, I think the kill time is just a little bit lower than the TAR, the MTAR, so I can't use it in competitive. I've seen other people do it, but if you don't have rapid fire on this gun or any other SMG besides the MTAR, it won't be able to match up against a lot of assault rifles and a lot of other SMGs. So that's why I can't use this gun right now in competitive, or maybe I can. I just need to use it more and, and try and figure out the best combination. But I, I'm loving this gun. The iron sights are beautiful. Uh, it has an extremely long magazine so that you don't have to reload very often. I got on some crazy good streaks using this gun just for a little bit this morning while I was recording. And I just enjoy it so much. It, it really reminds me of the feeling I got when I used the, the PP90 in MW3. Now, I know it's not the same iron sights, and it's not, I mean, the fire rate, I think, in my opinion, is pretty similar. Uh, I don't really know the, the statistic on that, like the timing of the actual fire rate. But this gun is very similar to that, and it gives me that same feeling, you know. You guys you guys know what I mean. If you play a lot of Call of Duty, and you've played other titles, there's always been guns that you've used that are have been your favorite guns. Not, not for any really specific reason, just because when you use it, it feels right. And th that's what I get when I use the Vepr. It's just got that sweet spot. Every time I get a kill with this gun, it's just a feeling of accomplishment. And I know that sounds nerdy. Like, if you were watching this from an outside perspective and you never played Call of Duty, you would think that's a really weird thing to say or feel. But I think a lot of you guys will relate to that when you when you use a gun on Call of Duty and you just find that sweet spot. That's one gun that every time you get a kill, it's, it's just a very uh, addictive feeling. Just like the... I, I get the same feeling with the Remington as well. For whatever reason... Call of Duty Ghosts, they, they did a lot of things wrong. A lot, of in this, a lot of things in this game aren't the way it should be. Uh, I don't have any specific examples for you guys, but I've complained enough about this game for you guys to know that a lot of things in this game make me unhappy. But you guys got to give credit to Infinity War because they did a lot of things right. I think the gameplay itself, I, I've said this a million times, the gameplay itself feels amazing. The in-game mechanics are second to none for first-person shooters. And I can't, I can't even imagine what it would feel like on a next-gen console with better graphics too. Uh, like right now, we're playing on old gen. Like Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 are out of date now because the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are coming out. But this game just, it, it feels wonderful. Every, every time I get a kill, I just, it, it, I don't know what it is about this game, but every time I get a feel, I feel accomplished. And I'm blind as a bat. I did not see that guy go on top of that truck. I'm out of ammo, though, here anyways. I, I finally get this last kill on this guy, and then I, I run away, and I just, I have no more ammo, and I die. But you guys need to try this gun out. I, it's probably my favorite SMG to use, if not my favorite gun. Like I said at the beginning, my favorite gun to use on Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, it just... I, I can't... I don't have words. I don't I don't know what to say. Because, like, the, the, the fire rate and the iron sight just look good. You guys have to see for yourself. If you haven't used the gun yet, go try it out. I think you guys will have a lot of fun. Uh, I was lagging a little bit in these gameplays. That's why I don't really have a full gameplay. Because the lag caused me to die quite a bit. But... I'm going to be streaming today, guys, at mlg.tv slash optic gaming. I'm going to be scrimming and playing in search and destroy tournaments. So if you guys haven't seen any competitive Call of Duty yet uh, this year, come watch these search and destroy tournaments. I'm playing in two, uh, one with uh, some other pro players, and then the other one will be with my professional team, Optic Gaming. So uh, when you guys are watching this video, I should be live. Like I said, mlg.tv slash optic gaming. Some really uh, good matchups are going to be happening. Uh, crazy search and destroy it, it's always hectic and it's always super competitive i think you guys will really enjoy it so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think about the vepr what guns have you been using what's your favorite gun i want to hear from all of you really appreciate it guys please like comment subscribe if you enjoy and youtube we'll see you fudging later